Today I would like to go over the two one exercise. We're going to use the leg extension as an example, but you can do it with curls, hamstring curls, uh, lots of different exercises, a lot of machine based stuff this works really well for. So what we want to do is use two limbs to lift the weight, get the concentric, and then we're going to pull one out and then use one limb to slowly lower an elongated eccentric. So something like good concentric contraction and then maybe like a three second lowering phase. And you can do different stuff, you can do two or five or whatever, but the idea is to use a really heavy weight relative to <clears throat> what that one limb can do on its own. We're stronger eccentrically, we can handle more load. I wouldn't be able to lift this back up if I was really selecting a weight that's challenging. So I can use two limbs to raise it, still getting some stimulus there, but then a real strong eccentric contraction as I'm trying to slowly control that negative phase. Really gonna hit those muscle groups that we're targeting really hard, good damage stimulus. That's one of the factors for muscle growth. So you can really get in there, get some long time under tension on there, lift with two, bring it out, control with one. And then you would just alternate which one it's doing the negative phase. Now, we also wanna make sure we're not selecting too heavy a weight where it takes me some work to put up there and as soon as I pull that other leg out, it just falls. You're not getting anything out of that. You have to be able to control it eccentrically. It's gotta be a challenge, you want it to be difficult, but not impossible to control that. That's how you're gonna get that good eccentric stimulus on those target muscles.